Okay, I want to tell you a little bit about the 10 Sisters Easy Piecing Grids and how to use them. Um, the grid is printed on a very lightweight iron-on interfacing. You can feel that bumpy side is the iron-on side. And I have them printed in three different sizes. Today we're doing the one inch finished. And so that means we're going to be using a one and a half inch cut square. Every one of the panels uses 126 squares. And this one I wanted to show you. We're going to turn it over so that the fusible side is up. And one thing to just notice is the numbers across the top. You can read them when the fusible side is up. And so this is really traditional foundation piecing is what we're actually going to do. So let me show you. We're, this is a panel that I already have already ironed down. And so this is kind of like puzzle pieces or puzzle putting together a puzzle. You're going to take the picture of the section of the quilt that you're going to do and sky is the limit. This is one thing I just love is you're going to be able to choose so many different patterns. And we're going to have the grid is fusible side up and we're going to place that square right inside that dotted line. The, the printed square is actually printed just a tiny bit bigger than one and a half inches. So if you cut a true one and a half inch square, it's going to fit right inside there with a little bit of wiggle room, as you can see. And so it's actually a very forgiving process. If you want to, you can use a Elmer's Washable School glue stick for placement. Put a little dab on the interfacing before you place your square down. And then once you're sure of your whole pattern, then you can put some steam in your iron and you can give that a good pressing and press that all down permanently. Now we're ready to sew. When we're ready to sew, we're going to fold that right on that fold line. And if you can see, the little row of dots should be running right along that fold. And what you're going to do is put that in the sewing machine and you're going to use your quarter inch seam allowance. And you're going to sew that quarter inch seam allowance all the way down and you're gonna do the next row, quarter inch seam allowance all the way down. And your quarter inch might not be the same as the next person's and that's okay, just as long as you're consistent with your seam allowance. And you're gonna sew all the way down all those rows. And the next step is, this is the seam that we just sewed, okay? So we sewed this seam all the way down and what you're going to do is you're gonna clip all the intersections and you're going to clip right to that row of stitching. And as a matter of fact, if you happen to clip through that stitching, that's going to be okay because all your squares are ironed down and they're not going to move at all. And the other thing that you might have already noticed is that we're not using any pins because everything is totally held in place. So you're going to clip all the intersections across the whole panel. And then the next step is you're going to take it over to the ironing board and I like to use a little steam with this and I'm going to press that first row going in one direction and I want to make sure that it's nice and flat on this side I don't want to have any little folds right here I want to make sure that's pressed nice and flat so the seam allowances are going this way and then again just like we did that first time you're going to fold it on that fold line lay that on the ironing board and press the next row seam allowance is going the other direction and this is the magic look at how those seams nest right into each other so we're not pinning we're not going to have any segmented seams to worry about you're just going to sew that quarter inch seam allowance you're going to fold it and do the same thing on the next row P press that seam allowance go in the opposite direction sew your quarter inch seam and you're going to do that all the way down your panel and the magic is this this is what you get you get perfect intersections every single time another thing that i love is that your quilt top is flat it's stable it's not stretchy and the interfacing that stays in the back is going to get softer and softer soft with use with use and soft uh, every time you wash it. Um, really easy to quilt through. 
And the other thing is that you can do any pattern that you want. And the sewing is just simple, simple, straight sewing. So check out the other sizes of grids. We have one inch finished, one and a half, and two inch finished grids on tensisters.com. Thanks.